Hello and welcome back to the Road to KSP2. We only have one rocket launch today, so it's going to be a good one. Uh, I'm sorry if there's any audio problems. It'll be fixed someday. Uh, please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. We're almost to 600 subs, and uh, I got something a little bit interesting to show you for 600. So yeah, it'd be really nice if we got there just around the corner. Um, we're starting off with MLM-3, it's our only launch of the day, and it's starting at the KSC. Now, uh, it's specifically just to restock our Minmus base, our uh, base that sits on Minmus. Uh, I forgot the name of it because I haven't posted, or haven't technically recorded a video in two weeks. So, yeah. Um, here we are. Uh, we're basically just launching our our uh, our capsule filled with, uh, I believe, Valentina Kerman and several others. We're just launching them straight out there on the several day mission. Well, not several day journey out to Minmus. Uh, it's pretty. Uh, I mean, it's it's not super quick. Here's the uh, the insertion burn. It'll uh, you know sling us out all the way out there to Minmus, so we can slow down as we are planning on slowing down now. Actually, now we're planning on uh, getting closer. Uh, yeah, so we're basically just going in as fast as possible. We're gonna do our little correction burn there. And now we are almost to Minmus, just several days away from actually reaching there. Uh, yeah, this will be pretty, pretty easy. We're going to slow down. Uh, I was looking for the base, but that's the base right there. And I have selected it as our landing coordinates. Here we are, coming in very slowly as I use the automatic landing guidance uh, from Mechjeb uh, to help us land at the location that, you know, just so it's exact. I have trouble with the, some of the trajectory things, so it just gets it exact. And then as we get in closer, I normally do take a little bit more control. Yeah, just like that. Here we are, I'm controlling it so it gets ever so closer, and here we are landing just feet, or just meters away from the base itself. And now I will be putting the Kerbals onto the station. And I need to transfer them to some of them to the lower cabin so that they aren't you know, taking up all of the seats in the top part of the cabin. And, yep, now I'm making a good little uh, alarm clock node uh, for basically several months away to say, hey, we're gonna let them get off so they aren't stuck here forever. You know, as, as we probably should. We shouldn't have them stuck there forever feel like that'd be pretty bad. Uh, anyway, uh, we're going to Luna Station. Uh, we launched this several episodes ago, but I forgot to actually put it in its orbit around the Mun. So, here it is. It's uh, currently doing its insertion burn to the Mun. It will be on a fairly equatorial orbit. I know this technically doesn't work in real life. Uh, it put because, you know, gravity's uh, it's not just one, no, you're never in just one sphere of influence when it comes to actual gravity, uh, but, you know, in KSB, it, it works, it works, that's all I'm gonna say, but here we are, this, so this is the main core for Luna Station, it's mainly just meant to produce power and some like location ability so we can like slightly change its orbit or 
do other things kind of like that. But as of right now, it basically just looks like a satellite with a big engine on the back. Or now it's four smaller engines on the back. Yep. Uh, it's also fair, fairly close to the surface. I believe it was only like 20 kilometers up from the surface. Yeah, pretty crazy. And yeah, we're gonna do one of our more crazy things. We launched this probably about 15 or so episodes ago. Um, it's the Charmer. It's part of a failed uh, SSTO program. Yeah, and we're just gonna deorbit it. We don't need it anymore. It's not particularly a useful craft. Uh, yeah, it was kind of a pain to launch and just exist. So now we're deorbiting it because, you know, reasons. And here it is, just hurtling itself into the ocean and it's destroyed. Now we are back and we are uh, going to MLM2 because several of our Kerbals need to come back home. Yep, it's the, it's the other Kerbals that were there. It has been half a year in this video. Actually, yeah, it's been half a year in this video. And uh, yeah, it's time for these Kerbals to come back home. So, yep, here they are. They're about to get launched into space. Well, not, well, technic technically, yeah. They're getting launched into, like, not Minmus. They're gonna go down and uh, basically just deorbit and come back home, which is, you know, always a good thing. It's always a good thing to come back home, especially after a long trip, especially if that trip is, like, who, well, six, like, six months long. Yeah. But here they are. They're on their way back. And for some reason, my textures for the atmosphere was, <laughs> they weren't loading in, but they loaded in finally once we got close enough. <coughs> yeah, and that cough was the reason why there hasn't been a video in a couple of weeks. I have been uh, quite sick. And uh, I should be back onto normal, regularly scheduled videos for every, you know, either Saturday or Friday. I think I'm going to post this one on Friday. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys have a good weekend and I will see you guys next time. Hopefully we'll have 600 subscribers by then.